Welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. Today we're going to go a little bit further with the A137-2 Wave Multiplier version 2. Uh, in the last video, we kind of did just some basic processing of waveforms uh, using the saw, triangle, and sine um, into the A137-2 and then got to look at what that actually looks like. Uh, this time we're going to go a little bit further and uh, maybe get some modulation effects happening here at the inputs of the A137-2. So let's set up our basic patch first and then we'll go from there. Uh, so I'm going to start by getting a triangle wave because I really like the way that one looks. So patching it over to my multiples. Uh, if you're unclear about what's going on here, uh, as far as the multiple section over here, uh, just jump back one video because uh, I do a little bit of an explanation as to how this is patched. But basically this is going up to here and then it's being copied in this multiples. Uh, this top green cable is going over to our scope, and so that's what we're seeing over there is our notes. So then I'm going to take one copy of that, which I think I'm going to use this one, and then go over to, I think I had a patch right here. There we go. So now we have the input going into the wave multiplier, and then I'm going to take the output from there and then go to the bottom section over here at the multiples. That should allow me to hear it. And also see it in the bottom section of our oscilloscope over there. So now I can kind of, you know, make adjustments over here and you can see them reflect at the oscilloscope. So let me just dial something in that I like. Okay, good enough. Now let's kind of go take at this a little bit further. So one thing I want to do is maybe take these voltages that I have over here and uh, maybe do something with them. So let's see, how can I do that? Okay, so I'm going to take out my voltages and patch them into my bottom section of my malts over here, the switch multiple. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I have, let's see, the switch here where the voltages are coming out, and then next to it I have a switch multiples. It might be hard to see, but um, using the top section for triggers, but then the bottom section I'm going to actually be using for this. So I'm going to patch it down here. So basically the voltages that I'm using from here are going to be going out from here, the bottom three. And so I'm going to take that out. and then use that over to my quantizer over here in the middle. So then we have exactly what we had before. And then now I'm going to take a second copy of those same voltages and then go over to one of the CV inputs of our wave multiplier. So right here, let's try this one. So with those same voltages, it's now changing the setting of this dial right here, the top one. It kind of has a nice little rhythmic effect to it as well. Uh, now I did get one suggestion, because this actually came as a result of an idea that was given to me by... Uh, Daniel Kramer out there from uh, the Muffler Forum, and uh, I think he's also on the, uh, he made a few comments on my YouTube videos, uh, but he actually suggested that I use the quantizer to process the CVs coming out of there, so I think I'll try that. So I'm taking that out right there, and then I'm just going to take that same CV out, now quantize version, and just go right over here. Now this might be a little bit difficult to see, so what I'm going to do is unpatch the notes going to the oscillator, or to the VCO, just for a moment. Just so you can kind of see what exactly is happening over here. Make 
make sure I have this patched all the way. Input, input, major. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you can see right there, the waveform is just kind of jumping around. I did have to change my settings over here on my quantizer because I had it dialed into a chord, which meant it was only going to generate the three notes of an arpeggio. So I switched it over to scale, which means it's going to be playing all tones right now. Uh, if I switch it over to here, it's just the ones in the major scale. But you can see it's kind of giving a nice little movement to the shapes at the wave multiplier. It also adds a nice little rhythmic flavor to it as well. So now I'm taking the notes again back from our quantizer, the top section up here. I'm going to go back into my VCO. There we go. You can see the tonality has kind of changed a little bit, or you can hear it. Let's try it over in minor. 